Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is the Rental Man Buck, and today we are back with another. Oh, this one's going to be a very short modding tutorial on how to add a backup camera to a vehicle. Now, a couple of you guys actually asked me, how did I get this backup camera that I have on my Kenworth T880? I'll go through my cameras, and then there's this one that shows over the top of the top plate. Now, this is a very simple modification that I learned how to do a couple months ago, but I never thought somebody would uh, want to, in other words, learn how to do it. Obviously, somebody would have, but what we're going to do is, if we look at much majority of the vehicles in Farm Sim, what will happen is, is you'll go through your cameras, you'll get that third person, and you'll get first person, and it's back. How to do this is we're going to add a backup camera to this K30. Like we said, it's a very simple process. If you guys do not know how to get Giants Editor or certain programs that are required for modding, go check out my very first tutorial. I'll link that down in the description. It will, uh, just, if, you, if you don't know how to do any simple mo modifications, uh, that video will help you describe that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to catch you guys in just a minute. I'm going to get the soft, I'm going to get the stuff set up, get ready to go, and we're going to learn how to add a backup camera. So I'll catch you guys in just a minute. All right, so we are back, and yes, I know the desktop picture is fun, but that doesn't matter. What we're going to do is, I already have it unzipped. It's the Chevy K30 Dually. How we can do this is simple. Any of these mods, what you can do is if you have WinRAR like me, which I can also link down in the description down below of an tutorial how to install it, but also the link to the download if you guys don't have it. But how I do mine is I right-click it, and then I'll hit this, Extract to Blah, and what it'll do is it'll create a folder. I had to drag mine out to my desktop because I did mine through my mod folder. Just drag that folder out and it'll get you something like this. Now, here's also my Kenworth that has the camera on it. It was custom modding that did the original, but I put on the stickers as well as the camera. We're going to take a peek at what this looks like. How I did that open the folder is I opened up the folder, double clicked, OK, and again, it loaded us up into Giants Editor which in the can in the editor it looks like a regular mod but this thing was organized nice enough that when you open up these little tabs there's one called cameras now again you open that tab and there's outdoor camera indoor camera and then down here there's a random backup camera which is what we are going to add now a lot of the times all you're just gonna see well pretty much every time unless someone customly did it is you'll see a outdoor camera target and an indoor and then if they have them these what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go into the K30 which I will flip to that here and we'll open up the same way we did this will require a little bit of scripting but nothing too difficult all of you guys can do it I know you can and what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we'll open these up and we'll open up cameras and boom as also you can see there's nothing in here what we need to do in order for this to be Giants Editor ready is we need to hit the Create tab, Camera, and then it'll pop up this little camera at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename this to Backup Camera. Same way we did with the truck. If I can spell right. And how we need to do this is we're going to select it by pressing left click, Control X, for cutting and in the camera kit tab we're gonna right click it or we're gonna left click it and then we're gonna hit paste with control V and that will drop it down into this uh, what we call tab if however your model or the mod that you want to do is not very organized as this one is we're just gonna duplicate this to show and you're still sitting here going what do I do with this backup camera because there's no camera tab you will just do the same thing. You'll control X, and then you'll click on, if it's a model that's very easy to do this with, like it'll just look like this when you open up your first tab, and then your next one will show all your lists. You'll do the same thing, control V, and it just won't be in a camera tab. It'll just be in this, uh, what we call scenograph depth chart. I'm just gonna call it a depth chart because that's what I think is easy. But we're gonna do this this way. All we need to do is, because we have backup camera, that, as you guys can see down here, it's not lined up correctly. So what we'll do is we'll go to View, Camera, Backup Camera, and from here what we can do is two ways. We can do it 
by using this transform tab by manually moving these on our own or we can take it the easy way and just edit it out through that way and right click so we can move our camera and use the scroll wheel to go back and forth and we'll just line it up on top of the cab where a backup camera would be and this guys you could place this anywhere you want if you want to place this uh, on your tailgate you're more than welcome to you can put it where any anywhere you want this is gonna be your placement of your edit so what we did there is we just kind of trimmed it up so we're in front of the mirror so when we look down we're not sitting there but what we do from here is this translate X will zero that out to make sure we are completely centered this rotate Y we're gonna exit we're gonna zero that out as well so we're looking straight back and this rotate X I'm gonna put at 15 I personally prefer that because it kind of gives you an ideal layout of where your vehicle actually would have a camera at this state. This is really good for gooseneck angle. If you guys want to add a, a ball hitch on your tailgate, it's going to be the same process. You'll just have to duplicate what you're doing. From here, this is Giants Editor ready unless you want to do what we like to call edit the field of view, which you'll again click left on the backup camera. You'll go to the camera tab, and here on field of view, if you want it to be a little wider, like say 70, that'll back your camera's view out a little bit, meaning you can get a wider range of your viewing of what you're looking at. But we're going to leave it at 60 for right now, just for the, easy of, for the ease of what we're doing. If you don't want to mess with that, all we'll do is we'll save. And then, that's it for the GE part. We can technically close, but what we'll do is we'll just minimize and then through the mod folder again you'll get the XML now if you guys do not have notepad plus plus what it will look like is this you guys will open this up and it'll look like this it's gonna be all black font and it's gonna be a bunch of confusing things but if you have notepad plus plus which I also recommend you getting it's through the Microsoft Store if you guys have uh, Windows just click on that search through there and you can find it. Just Notepad++. It's a very simple program. It'll install itself and it's free. And you get this nice, highlighted, easy to find folder. But what we're going to do, just for ease of someone else, is we're going to do it this way. How we need to do this is we'll hit Control F and we'll hit Cameras, hit Camera, and we'll hit Find Next. If I could spell it right, it would be so we'll just type camera and we'll hit find next and we'll scroll down and what we'll find is right here there's gonna be this tab called cameras now yes this is very confusing which is why the highlighted part is easy but all we need to know is right here if you guys can see this line it's labeled indoor camera one and I'll open this one up here down as well. There, as you guys can see, same thing, but a lot more easy to read and organized. But again, through here, all we need to do is this line right here, where it says the camera node, interior camera one, or however it's labeled, it will be your camera. You'll copy that line, you'll hit enter to drop it down, and tab to center it and you'll paste it as long as it is within I'll, I'll just hit backspace and space it so it's evenly lined up with that um, it will light as long as it is within this camera tab we'll do the same thing here we'll just take this line right here and we're going to pull this one over because we can and it's easier to find ah no way we did do that um, we'll just drag it up one so it'll drag it to this and we'll hit copy and same thing we'll go back over to here and because we highlighted one box above we can just hit control V after clicking and it'll drop it down now this indoor camera is not set up correctly we still need to in other words code in the, ca the camera which means we have to go back into the editor and right here we'll click backup camera and if it's not on the transform tab here over in what we call the attributes tab make sure it is and there's this thing called the index path we'll copy that number index or whatever you want to call it 
the code numbers and where it says indoor camera one on the bottom here we'll double click that in notepad plus plus it'll highlight it do not worry this one will not change all you need to do is make sure that that's highlighted if it's one otherwise you'll just highlight that number and then you'll hit well you'll, hi you'll highlight those words and then you'll hit control V for paste this camera now is technically set up we'll do the same thing in the other one down here where it says indoor camera one this one it'll highlight all of it apparently so we'll have to highlight it and then control V on this way you would either hit control S to save or you can save it that way or again if you're on this one oh hang on a second no we do not want to reload but we're gonna do the same thing here it would just be save we can we can exit out of both of those as well as the Giants editor and then what we can do is again if you have WinRAR like me we'll highlight everything in the file but I just want to make sure because I did this we'll go back down here to camera and yes it did save and we'll just right click left click drag and we'll right click and add to archive so we can zip it up and while we let that zip up there and we're gonna put this back into our mods folder like so but I have to pull out the old one if you guys are wanting to if you guys are wanting to replace your old one you would just it'll show this message and you'll hit replace but I don't because I want to pull out the old one so I'll catch you guys right when I get back in the game and then we can test this mod out alright guys we are back and one thing that I need to mention is that usually what we just did to the truck will not delete it but sometimes what models will do is if you change it enough in either the XML or the editor, what will happen is the game will say you need to rebuy your truck. In other words, deleting the old version. So if you had a lot of hours, it'll just reset your truck's hours and everything else. But all we need to do, get in the truck, test it by swapping through your cameras again. We have the interior, and boom, we have a bed camera. It is movable as well as we have the outdoor sounds. So we can do all of that stuff. So now we have a beautiful backup camera. And it's as simple as that. That is the only need to know on how to install a backup camera in a vehicle in Farming Sim 19. Now if you did enjoy this video, go smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you already haven't. Don't have to. I'm not forcing you. No worries. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. Go check out the Boomstick Club. They, they got a lot of great content coming out there. I'm just trying to do my part and also helping out the community and learning how to do even just this small stuff. Like, this is all I used to learn how to do. And I would like to help you guys as well. So that's going to do it for me. This is Rental Man out. Peace.